Hi all, it's Catherine Burgess with Burgess Group Compass. We're giving you local and national headlines first. So locally, low inventory, lots of competitive offer scenarios. Nationally, the second home market is really up. The number of investors is also super up. And people who are moving in, those migrating people from around the nation, they are typically having a much higher budget than our local market. So getting into all of this in depth now, um, 1.40 month supply of inventory was what we had in Boulder County last week. So compare that in this chart to what we've seen in the last four years. We're not horribly off, but we are definitely a little bit lower and we do have a really robust number of buyers circulating in the market. So it's, it's a quick market right now. In, from a price band perspective, in every price band, we are seeing action. So uh, there is a little bit more give possibly in the 2.5 million and above, from 1.5 to 2 million, and then in the 1.5, or I'm sorry, 500,000 to a million sections. But in general, there is no quiet section of the market. Everything is moving. So sellers remember that. Nationally, we saw that uh, 90%, there's a 90% increase in second home purchases since the pandemic. So there's been some up and down with that, and that is currently a very strong number. So the second home market is, is holding. Uh, the number of investors investing in, in the market nationally is up over 40% year over year. So uh, last year, investors recognized the tremendous appreciation that the market was having and they wanted to get in. So that is another way that the market has gotten tighter. This is our cuckoo clock. Um, so then the last point nationally is that there, the national migration continues. It's a lower rate than it was before but it, it's still a very important part of what's happening in our markets. And nationally, it's uh, out of town buyers have a 30% bigger budget typically than local buyers. So in the Denver Metro area, it's, that's a much smaller number. It's 14.8% uh, higher budget for out of towners, which still makes a really challenging market. So we did have su tremendous success last year getting our clients under contract, typically on their first, second, or third offer. And uh, so there are ways to do it and there are ways to be successful. You just have to be very strategic and um, be open to coaching. So then uh, sellers, as you can hear from all of this talk, it is an incredible time for you to sell. We weren't sure what the amount of buyer demand would be like this year, but it has been very strong very early in the year. So if you have a challenging to sell property, or if you just have a gorgeous property and want to retire early, or do, do something wonderful with some extra unexpected proceeds, now is the time. We know that the Fed is planning for interest rates to go up. Um, please do click the link below on what could real estate look like with a, an interest rate of over 4%. Um, it definitely will decrease buying power for buyers. So that's part of what that buyer demand right now is all about. So we will see you again in two weeks. If you have questions, feel free to call us in the meantime. We are happy to be a resource. And please like, subscribe, and share. We'll see you soon. Bye.